We are under the lights here on a Friday night at AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. The Cubs look for their seventh straight victory next. Ryan Covey, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout-to-walk ratio, 2-1, to one, that this guy is more a pitch-to-contact guy than a strikeout-walk guy. Now batting, Peter Crozier. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for the Cubs. Center fielder, Peter Crozier. First pitch coming, here it is. Second of four here on a Friday night as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. 1-1. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, 1-2 and two now. The 1-2 is swung on and missed, strike three. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling, d -Row? Well, Matty, one thing that jumps out at me, and it's eye-popping, is the fact that this team leads the league in slugging percentage. And they do it in a variety of different ways. It's just not the long ball. A ton of guys in this lineup that can move the ball into gaps, take extra bases. Just great offensive approaches up and down. Be on the lookout for some guys looking to do some serious damage today. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. First pitch swinging as this one's hit on the ground to second. Throw gets him, two down. Now to the plate, Jose Melendez. And he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past few days, as you see there. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair oh, umpire, right but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. Outside and low, 3-0. and I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut. He's looking to do damage. And we'll nope. have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, that hitting anything right. close. So right I fielder. think this is the way to go Angel. here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. The next Hub up Angel Barrios, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch on its way. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field, and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. Now it'll be the Giants' turn, no score. Albert Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point? In a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs, to have an ERA sub two, that's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see more of the same from this guy, one of the top pitchers in all the league. 
Stepping in, Pablo Carrasco. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Maddie, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seven. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Here's a look at the hometown Giants starting lineup in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. So in now for San Francisco, Guillermo Marte, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready. Here's the first offering. That's a and that one stayed too low, apparently. No a 1 0 delivery. Nope. Missed with a breaking ball. One out, nobody on. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there. And that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third, left fielder, Brandon Nemo. The former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit hard down the line. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with the man coming up, the number four hole monster. As soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's one in the scoring position. Stepping in now, Charlie Quintana, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. The average coming in at 266, three homers and 16 RBI. A look now the pitch fastball right back to the mound and he'll flip it on the first and with it that ends the inning Giants leave one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game into the box now might have got him It'll be five, six, and seven do up to kick off the second inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit. The first of the game for the Cubs. Batting next, Patrick Jones. Devore. At the plate, Joe DeVore took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and they get them both. Batting seven. Second baseman, Eddie Escobedo. 
set to get his evening at the plate started, Eddie Escobedo. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope. Missed with a slider. Kobe is one of the more prolific strikeout artists in the game today. He'll get into double digits in K's, and of course, that means he's got outstanding stuff every five days. One of the things that go hand in hand, Matty V, if you want to strike guys out, you have to have good stuff, and this guy has great stuff. He has two different pitches that he can strike you out with, and as they rate him on a scale of 1 to 10, this guy has two pitches that rate an 8 or a 9, which is really hard to find in baseball today. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Now the 2 1 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Lindsay onto the grass, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Now in the box, Eric Herman. They'll have five, six, and seven here to start the whole half of the second. Herman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets him to lift one into shallow center field. Crozier comes on now, and he has it one down. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. So stepping in, Larry Bond, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. First delivery to him on the way. Skied into straightaway right. Barrios is there, two down. Batting seven, the shortstop, Bob Lindsay. Stepping in, Bob Lindsay. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Here comes the first pitch. And this is low, ball one. Tanaka, originally from Japan, of course. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. Bottom of the second here with no score. That's right. Your pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, sometimes when you get two quick outs in an inning as a pitcher, you sort of lose focus and let up a bit. Let's see if he can get it back. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. He was able to keyhole a strike on 2-0 to keep the inning alive. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's leading the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Throw over to first, no, he's and safe. he's back in standing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. Not in time as he steals second. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely.
0-1 delivery. A big pass at a slider that gets past him. You know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches. And he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Popped him up. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in, Charlie Mueller. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. First offering on its way. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, right here, any time the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing, trying to get that out at second base. But if not, make sure of one. Standing in now, Albert Tanaka. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Here's the 0 1. And that one just missed outside. Mueller aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit to short. Reined in. To second for one. On to first. So they let the pitcher swing away here, and it turns into a double play. Peter Crozier. Coming to the plate now, Peter Crozier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Slider up that he gets a call on. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Now the 0 2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Hey now. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Now at the plate, Ryan Covey. He'll get to take his Leading first cut series. Edgar, Ryan Covey. First pitch coming. Here it is. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hit that ball. Here's the 0 and 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout.
Into the box, Pablo Carrasco, Aye. as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, second baseman, Guillermo Martin. Digging in now, Guillermo Marte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Swing and a liner. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Giants are down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Digging in to try it again. John Costello. He got on top of one. It was a ground down victim last time. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Winging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. Lifted down the line and left. Nimmo in pursuit, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. You don't see that too much no, in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line and drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. In now, Jose Melendez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out. One That's and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with two balls and a strike. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The relay, and he is in there. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -Row, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. First pitch of the at-bat. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Mike Watkins. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. The set and the 1-0 pitch. 
Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And both runners will score. It's now a three to nothing ball game. And he's in there with a two run triple. That's a monster at bat right there. A one run lead is fine and everything, but a three run cushion feels a lot better. And that's where they stand right now after that three bagger. Stepping in now, Joe DeVore. Nope. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Down now. Hit hard on the ground to the right. So the first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Ready for another chance? Eddie Escobedo. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Now here's the pitch. Oh, he just ramps up and here's the fastball by him. 0-2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. On to first, and there were two down. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Standing in now, Charlie Mueller. As he'll take a look at ball one. A base hit in his first trip. home fouled away ready to deal here's the one one and this one runs a little too far in ball two well I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there it's clearly not going his way and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand and right now he needs to think about this hitter and he fouls this one off. Four runs, six hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Bond has room in foul territory. And that ends the inning. So they score four times on four hits. No errors and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Cubs lead it four to nothing. former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind they're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs from the stretch hard ground ball to third that's through for a base hit his second of the ball game so the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning They'll make it two hits for him in this one as he's on base here in the home court. And his total currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. Digging in, Charlie Quintana. Here's 
the first pitch to him. He takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. One ball, two strikes. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Struck him out. Oh, come on. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Into the box, Eric Herman, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A little bouncer that winds up foul for the second strike. Nimmo stands at first with one out. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Bond, a 25-year-old, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. The 0-1 pitch. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. They trail here four to nothing. Albert Tanaka and Dan I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning oh, no doubt about that Max that was a really rocky frame but clearly not enough to chase him from this game we'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him pitch on the way swing and a ground ball to third and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready once again, Peter Crozier. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Hard hit ball to second. Marte is there. Throw on to first. Two gone. Now batting. Third baseman. John Costello. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. John Costello, he singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll post into second here with a two-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming in at this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box now, Jose Melendez. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Standing in, Bob Lindsay. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth Leading as they look to break out. through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, Bob baseball is a game of Lindsay. adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Rounded down the third baseline. One pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. He'll get it into second. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. Up next for the Giants, Patrick Romeo Trejo. So striding in, Romeo Trejo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Down the third baseline. Uh, this will line up a foul ball. Strike two. Try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch in the dirt. I think that was a purpose pitch. These guys are swinging at just about everything, so he's going to take a chance to see if they'll chase one even further out of the zone. One and two, here it comes. And oh, that gets him on the mound. Recovery play to get the second out, but we'll have to make sure he's okay on the mound. Uh, this has to be a big concern here. This ball came back and got him right in the pitching arm, and that is something you just never want to see. We see him trying to work this one off, and from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue, so that at least is a good sign. Phil Haskins will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2 and 0. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here it comes, 2 and 0. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Escobedo, right there, throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Giants down in order. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Your Parents, 
Matos takes now over to start the sixth Giants. inning on the mound. Number 29, Matos. Digging in once again, Angel Barrio will try to follow up the right double fielding. in his last at bat with another big Barrio. hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Four one. one. The one zero. -oh. It's a curveball taken low for a ball. In the dirt. It's 3 0 oh now. Well, that's ball three, and the Cubs right now, they're looking for base runners. Hey, they'd love to get a leadoff walk. Wait. Fouled off. The zone to fill the count three and two. Three two pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Now at the plate, Mike Watkins, and he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And it looks now like a right hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Barrios on at first. Nobody out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Nobody out, runner on first. Got him. That was aggressive pitching in that at that, and I like the seeing batter. that. He Catcher. showed all hard stuff Joe until the fifth Devoy. and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Stepping in now, Joe DeVore. Pitch out, nothing doing. Runners on first with one down. And it's fouled away. One, one home and this one gets away and that'll move the runner up to second as it takes away the double play possibility well when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt that's the danger you have to trust your catcher but this one skips away and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it might prove to be costly Now 
now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. One more time. Breaks him up for strike three. Now batting. Second base. So digging in now, Eddie Escobedo. Runner in scoring position with two guys. He's set and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing. Shot toward right center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Leading off the inning, Pablo Carrasco. The they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't Pablo look good Carrasco. so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Watkins is right there as he puts it away. No problem. Now the first down. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping into the box, Guillermo Marte, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Weak grounder back to the mound. And quickly, there are two away. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. Late, Brandon Nimmo. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are stripped tonight for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Standing in now, Charlie Quintana. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0 and 2. Nimmo leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Line to the right side. Barrios is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Giants leave one. They're down four nothing.
back here in San Francisco getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front and before the inning gets underway let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Now with the play Charlie Maybe Mueller he'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Two zero on the way. Hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, D-Roll. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Into the box, Albert Tanaka. Swinging a soft liner, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only is he throwing the, the ball well, Center but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the match. Into the box now, Peter Crozier, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. So far this season, Crozier is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Carrasco is in pursuit, and that's the first out of the inning. How about it? There's a John Costello. Coming to the plate now, John Costello. First pitch coming, here it is. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Oh, no. fastball that misses. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Now the 2 0 home is looked at for the first strike. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. First and second now, one man out. Three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Popped him up. Trejo shading to his right. Two down. Now batter. First baseman. Jose Melendez. In now. Jose Melendez. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go. There. Mueller over at second. Tanaka at first, two out in the inning. 
fouled off. The one two misses up and in. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. High in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Carrasco. And that retires the side. Up strand a couple. They lead it four to nothing. Settling in now, Eric Herman comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base. And not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Comes set and the 0-1. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a slider. Ho oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping in now, Larry Bond. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter number five, shortstop, Bob Lindsay. Stepping up to the plate, Bob Lindsay. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. We're moving along late into this one, and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. O2 pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing.
at the plate, Angel Barrio. Right fielder, Angel Barrio. First pitch of the at bat. And a neck high fastball that time. That's one and oh. Two balls and no strike. Now the 2 0. Pulled toward right center field. Bounce will take it over the outfield wall and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Nimmo ranging back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The catcher, number two, Joe DeVore. Riding in once again, Joe DeVore. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's a and the fastball just a bit high. And that one just missed outside. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Eddie Escobedo is on deck. Him up. Bond is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Up next for the Cubs, second baseman, Eddie Escobedo. Riding into the box, Eddie Escobedo. He's set, here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Cubs are on top, four to nothing. So striding forward now, Romeo No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one a swinging bunt to the mound throws in time and that's out number one now batting the pitcher Barrett Michael Steve Rodriguez move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Rodriguez. A 
and one count and the pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. One out, nobody on. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Pablo Carrasco, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit on the ground to third. And that's through for a hit. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Second baseman, Guillermo Martin. Standing in now, Guillermo Marte fouled away. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Soft liner towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Chopped weakly up the first base line. That winds up foul. Oh, and oh, two, here it comes. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Giants leave a couple. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Bay Bridge, and at the other end, the city by the bay, as we continue tonight's ball game from AT&T Park. Johnny Jacobson fires from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready now, Charlie Mueller will be charged with trying to get on board leading off the night. First pitch of the at bat. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Jacobson, a 27 year old, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. The wind up and the 0 1. Smoke toward third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The pitcher number 20, Albert Tanaka. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Albert Tanaka. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Bases are empty, one man out. Line toward the gap in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now that Center 
standing in Peter Crozier. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. The Cubs lead this one four to nothing. The Giants number four batter, Charlie Quintana. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. And the pitch. Ground ball right side. Escobedo over to his left. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Right fielder. Aaron Herman. Stepping into the box, Eric Herman. Here's the first pitch to him. Now ball line softly down the right field line. Just foul. Strike him out for the third time. And he misses one there. One and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit in the air to shallow center. Crozier coming in. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. First baseman, number eight. Larry Bond. So coming to the plate, Larry Bond. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First offering on its way. Swing and a little tapper. It's foul strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get him out. Popped him up. Catch is made, and the Cubs continue the roll they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 4 nothing to score tonight. Chicago took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Albert Tanaka earned his fifth win of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Giants, no runs, seven hits, no errors, 
They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, 41,503. The Giants thank you for attending tonight's game at AT&T Park. And remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely. Good night.